Recording live from the Northeast Georgia Business Radio X studio, this is Northeast Georgia Business Radio. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Northeast Georgia Business Radio. I'm your host, Tom Sheldon. And yes, we're coming to you live from the beautiful Empower College and Career Center of Jackson County. Quick shout out to my good buddy, Mr. Mike Salmon, running the board for me. He's producing. He's waving as always. I've got yet another amazing guest. Yes, I know they're all amazing, but hey, they are. I have with me today Miss Morgan Massey of Massey Fit Morgan Welcome to the Northeast Studio. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. I got a feeling you're some type of personal trainer, fitness <laughs> guru person. Yes. Hence the That's name. That's what they say. Massey Fit. Yes. If you did roofing, that'd be kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I saying. suppose so. <laughs> Just saying. Just, well, welcome. Welcome. You doing Thank all right? Thank you. Yes, I'm fantastic. How was the ride in from Athens? Not bad. All yeah. back roads. Nice. Yeah. Well, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Well, welcome to the Northeast Studio. Seriously, you are a personal trainer. Yes. I work with women mostly. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's that's what you specialize yes, in. Yes, I specialize in women of gotcha. all ages and at any stage on their fitness journey because I want everyone to feel like fitness is available to them. Nice. And I provide everybody the tools that they need when they aren't with me so that they can be successful, but uh, also just have that sense of community mm-hmm. so you're not alone in it. I'm there for you. I'm your accountability buddy. And then you meet some pretty amazing people at the gym. I bet you do. I you run this out of your home. I do. Awesome. Yes. It's in my basement. Gotcha. Built it out when COVID happened. Right. So it's grown over the years for sure. I keep buying things. Congratulations. Thank you. It's fun. I um, have been challenged by one of my mentors to keep growing. So now, here who, I am. Who's your mentor, can we say? Amy Whipple. Amy She's Whipple. Amazing. The yes. Amy Whipple. I've the heard Amy. I've heard the name. She's famous. I need to meet Amy. Everyone needs to meet Amy. If you have a okay. small business or you're wanting to grow a business, Rise and Shine Mastermind with Amy Whipple. It changed my life. I heard that is like in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I have Some of us are just going to bed out. at that point. No. no I'm, I'm that's kidding. Not, I'm kidding. <laughs> that's, not, that's something we're going to talk about on, uh, in a minute. Nice. Yeah. But um, 5 a.m., you know, you that's either want great. it or you don't. That's true. You have got to want that. Yes, and we all do. And we're all very supportive of each other, and I think we help each other immensely. Nice. So, Shout out to Amy Whipple. Yes. Big shout out. Love her. You've been doing this for about 10 years. Yes. Give or take. Mm-hmm. Did you wake up one morning, something you just grew into? I think I just grew into it organically because uh, growing up, I was always into athletics. You're I, fit yourself. I played tennis. Right. I like being outside. I like hiking. I like doing new things. And I don't like to sit still. So, oh, see, that's the thing. Yeah, I don't sit still very well. Nice. Um, but you're doing then well I, so far. Yeah, you're doing well so far. Thank you. I'm trying, I'm fidgeting you, a little bit. I'm you trying are, to you're sit fidgeting. still. <laughs> you're fidgeting. <laughs> I'm you, sorry. If you have to stand up, and do some jumping jacks I need or something, to walk around. I'll vamp while yeah. you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know, get up and do some burpees together. Yeah, more. Oh, no, I'm too old for that. Uh, I could do those way back when, but hey, yeah, Morgan's gonna take a break. She's gonna do a lap around the campus. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you about, I should have had one of our community partners. It would have been perfect. I know. We would have had a, a commercial right in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about Massey Fit. You, um, you work with the ladies. Yes, I do work with the ladies. So I started working out in the group fitness industry back 10 years ago at the local YMCA, and I fell in love with it there. I wasn't teaching group fitness yet. I was just going to those classes, and my best friend just kept making me go, and I was like, this is where I want to be. I I am digging it. And the um, director over there was like, have you ever thought about teaching group fitness classes? I said, no, I have a fear of public speaking. (laughs) And she was like, it'll be fine. Give it a go. Uh, You can do it. So I did, and then I kind of have like a whole different personality whenever I'm coaching or teaching. It's like Morgana is my alter ego. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. I okay, just, the next episode, we're yeah. going to have Morgana in here. Exactly. You know, I just enjoy it. And I go hard, awesome. make you go hard, and try to have fun while we're Maybe working Maybe you out. really are Morgana, and Morgan is your alter ego. Maybe, maybe so. I think maybe, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what my clients say when they listen to this. I love it. I love it. So you jumped into sole propriety. Yeah, well, 
So More or less, eventually. when COVID happened and all the gyms kind of shut down, I was like, what am I going to do? Yeah. And then my mother-in-law was like, why don't you just train me? And then I think I just naturally said I did that and people started coming to me because I have all my certifications that. and whatnot. Okay. So I'm okay. trained. And, and that's important. Yeah. I feel like it's very important for fitness people to have certifications, to do the continuing education, to go to seminars, to learn, always learn because you don't want anyone to get injured. I was going to ask you, what are some of the pitfalls if you're not up on all that? But I think you just I answered I think people it. could get injured. It's just not, you have people doing unsafe things or motions, motions, movements. movements. Yeah. You go too far behind your head and you're like, that's not okay. You know, you hear weird popping and well, that's true. Like that. That's true. Some of the simplest workouts can really mess you up. Yeah. Especially if people come in with like low back pain or mm -hmm. they've had a knee replacement or any kind of injury, you need to be able to know how to work around that. I got you. Um, because there's plenty of things that you can do. You don't oh, have gosh, to yeah. lift as heavy as possible. Yeah, you don't have to bench 400 pounds. To, yeah. yeah. You don't have to do burpees to get in a good workout. Thank goodness. Yeah. People love I haven't love done a burpee it. in 20 years. Yeah. And there's just not a need for it if you don't want to. There's other things you can See, do. I, I like that philosophy. Yeah. 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 That's, I do. I truly try to live by that. As I've gotten older, I have, well, I've decided to. I, I, I've had to do more of that evil C word, mm, cardio. cardio. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you know. When I, when I was 30 years old, that was a four-letter word. Yeah. yeah. Cardio. Ooh. I know. It's not fun. That's what ellipticals are for. Well, I... It's if I'm being honest, I hate the elliptical. Really? That is my not, wife hates the elliptical. That is not my Probably jam. Probably for a whole different reason, but yeah. I, I don't know. I love a good rowing machine. I like a rowing machine. I like cycling. Uh, I don't do it outside anymore because I just feel like the road is not so safe. I wouldn't. Yeah. Right. Uh, I got two young kids, so I'm not going to tempt that. Oh, yeah. But I have recently picked up running, and that can be exciting and challenging. Well, now, when you get old, and I speak from experience, the pounding on the knees... Yeah. The ankles. Yeah. It's not worth it. No, that's why I lean towards elliptical. cycling. <laughs> the elliptical, <laughs> cycling, things that are low impact are great. Nice. Um, so yeah. I think we might have touched on it a little bit. You mentioned some injuries, maybe some knee replacements, things like that. Mm -hmm. So you encounter challenges with your clients. Mm -hmm. with, yeah, I work for it with anybody. You from, but you resolve these, you resolve these challenges. Yes. Yeah, we do. It's not cookie cutter. No, it's not cookie cutter. And sometimes people are in physical therapy, but coming to me as well. So we'll do some of the same movements that their therapist has them do. That's smart. Um, and then we just develop a plan for them when they're not with me. Because if you stop moving, if you don't move it, you lose it. Oh, yeah. So you have to um, work around the in injury and whatever it is, like build up the muscles around it to, to support healing. So that's the whole trick, building the muscles around it. Yeah. I mean, if you have a knee injury, then you're going to want to work on building that quad some I got stabilizing you. you know i got you it's all kinetic the, con the connected the kinetic chain is that what that will. means yeah connected. I, I mean it's a really cool fancy word no yeah. one knows what it means yeah like four people <laughs> <laughs> i'm serious i'm serious yeah uh lower back pain strengthen the back mm, question what mark? the glutes yeah the the glutes and your core Lots yeah. of people don't want to do core work, but right. your whole torso is like a stabilizing muscle. Mm -hmm. So you need to have back strength. You need to train the muscles. Right. But I love doing it, and I like when people see real-world progress. Oh, yeah. So they'll come to me like, oh, my gosh, I lifted a bag of dog food at the grocery store when I couldn't do that before. Uh, yeah. Or I was playing with my grandkid. I got off the floor, no problem. Those nice. kind of things bring me so much joy, and it's why I do what I do. So you more or less set goals. I imagine with the client, you mm -hmm. set goal, a different goal for everyone. Yes. Everyone has their own goals, and I check in with them you're not Often. expecting everyone to be lifting 400 pounds by the end of the next month. No, no one needs to lift 400 pounds oh, unless that's your goal. Well, when, you know, <laughs> you're 20 years old and you're trying to impress yeah. people. You, okay. lift, you lift 400 totally. pounds. I have you know. not. I have not done that. Um, I've never lifted 400. I've come close. That's awesome. No, it was stupid. <laughs> uh, last time I did any heavy bench, it was 305. Nice. And uh, I quickly said, I will never do that again. Yeah. Just, so, the, just the one rep? You're like, hey. I did one rep. It felt like my biceps were coming off of my uh, my arms. <laughs> one rep max, done. Yeah, <laughs> one rep. And uh, But uh, smart me, uh, a month, two months later, I did 295. Oh. And I quickly said, I will never do that ever again. <laughs> and to my credit, I have not. Okay, good. That's probably 15 years ago at this point. I don't know. Yeah. But yes. But you've always liked to work out. I mean, you said you had a gym. You know, big challenge is... I never knew what to do. Mm, Going back to when I was a kid. Yeah. 
I never knew what to do. And I'd work out. I'm going to work out. I'm going to work out. I, no, I, I didn't understand mm-hmm. protein. I didn't understand supplements, right? Yeah. When I was a kid. I couldn't afford it or couldn't get it. And I'd, I'd hurt myself. Right. You know, oh, my elbow. I can't move my arm because my elbow is who knows what. Yeah. And after a couple months, you quit. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, you're yeah. educating people on those things because it's not just going out and doing some exercises. Mm-mm. Supplementation, things like that, right. so important. Yeah, you get into that a little bit. Yeah, we do talk about nutrition. Talk about that. Yeah, so a lot of people don't eat enough protein. They just you right. don't think about it. You don't add it to every single meal. And if you're not adding it in your three main meals, then you're not going to get right. to your protein goal for the day. So a really quick, easy calculation is your body weight times mm-hmm. 0.75. Right. That's how many grams of protein you should be getting in is a that day. A, is that a maintain? That's not a grow. That's that's a grow. That's a maintain. Yeah. That's a maintain. That's a, you need to have that. Right. Right? So if you want to grow, then you're going to need to increase that. One to one and a quarter. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's we're it seems, talking the same language here. This is cool. It seems a little crazy to people when I'm like, you should be having anywhere from 90 to 100 grams of protein. You know what? Like if they tell me their body weight's like what 150 or something, right. and they're like, what? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of hard to get if you're not intentional about it. Mm-hmm. So you just have to be very intentional. And mm-hmm. then I'm somebody that can eat the same thing over and over again, and I, I don't too. really care. Right. I me know too. I'm so. I'm great with leftovers. Yeah, I'm right. fine. I can eat some grilled chicken every single day. Every day. But there's lots of ways that you can get protein. Oh, absolutely. You know, and I love a good protein shake too. I'm not going to lie. They're my mm-hmm. favorite, mm-hmm. quick, easy. I don't think it should take the place of every single breakfast you ever not had. Not a meal replacement, but no. yes. But it's a, a good supplement. snack. Yeah. It's definitely a supplement. Yeah. We well, do talk about that. Now, even they have protein bars that actually taste like something. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The one bars. This I'm not at, I'm not paid by them or anything. I know. They need to be paying. That's right my now. jam. Those. I believe that. The cinnamon roll one bar is like. 20 grams of protein, I think, one gram of sugar. Right. Very little sugar. So tasty. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, 20 something years ago, wow, protein bars tasted like leather with cardboard. F- with, yeah. yeah, with fake chocolate For on it. For eight grams of protein. Yes, if you were lucky. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's like, this yeah. only has six grams. Why am I eating this? Why am I this? wasting my time with yeah, this? Yeah, I need something better. I remember the growing days, I would have between 250 to 300 grams of protein a day. I was eating every four hours. Yeah. I was waking up middle of the night, 3 a.m., drinking milk. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Hardcore. I was a very scrawny kid growing up. Mm-hmm. We won't begin to go to talk about weight right now, but uh, I'm twice the size, literally, as when I graduated from high school. Yeah. I think I am, too. I was very petite, and I'd never liked it. <laughs> I no, didn't I, like I being that small. I was thin. You know, six yeah. foot tall and 120 pounds. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I hated it. Yeah. I hated it. It's going to be tough growing up. Oh, it, it can be. Oh, yeah, we got off topic. I'm sorry. <laughs> we did a little bit, We're but talking it's about good. cool it's stuff good. here. <laughs> All right, so you face challenges with your clients. Mm-hmm. You work through them. Yes. And it's not one size fits all. No, because everybody's made different, and that's what's wonderful about the world. Someone may want to be stronger. Yes. Maybe they just want to be more flexible. Exactly. Your program, your exercises, have you found ways to eliminate pain? Um. You know, I make think, it a little bit better. Yeah, maybe I, not completely eliminate. Exactly. That's, that's a like world, when I check in with people, how are we feeling now? You know, oh my gosh, it's so much better than it was because we're getting stronger, and you're right. not necessarily overcompensating on the good side exactly. for your bad side. Right. We're balancing it out. Where we work on balance. Most people think balance training so silly, but no, no, at no, no. any age, right. you as should you get be older. On, as you get older, yeah, stand on one it. foot. You're doing the dishes, stand on one stand foot. On one foot. You're cooking the the veggies, stand on the other foot. Mm-hmm. So you just have to uh, incorporate these little things into your daily life to make it all much better. Do you incorporate you. a lot of stretching? Yes, I love stretching. I have a Pilates without a performer. without a, without a weight. I mean, without just, a weight, yeah. yeah just you could do yoga. Stretching. Yeah, just lay there on the ground. I get a yoga strap and just stretch out the hamstring. I think it's important when you're stretching to hold that particular stretch, whatever you're doing, for thirty seconds really? at least. Really? Yeah, because you have these little fibers in your body that don't really know to fire off and release and. Until they're called like the GTOs. You don't, they don't know to release until 30 seconds. And a minute is ideal. It's great. But no one, no one wants to. I've never heard, I've never heard anyone tell me that. No one wants to stretch. No one wants to. Oh, I love stretching. That's good. No, no, no. I love stretching. Well, this is. I would not get out of bed in the morning. Yeah, without honestly, stretching. Honestly. Good. Yes, no, that's true. Yeah. Well, there's a place in Athens, also not paying me for this. I love them. I think it's called Stretch Zone. I went there one time. Holy cow. I thought, I was like, I'm good, guys. I'm fine. And they're like, oh, no, turns out you're pretty tight in all these different places. I left there feeling so amazing. So highly recommend that if you have time to go stretch for 30 minutes. Now they owe you a free workout. I know. 
Wow. Thank you for yeah, that. Yeah. I'm, dead, dead I'm gonna send this to them. <laughs> hey, we get at least a thousand we get over a thousand downloads a week. So oh. people will be hearing your voice. Okay, thank you. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I know it's not uniform. Is there an ideal amount of time? In other words, someone comes to you, I want to get a little stronger, I want to feel a little better. I expect you to do it in six weeks. Okay, that's not going to happen. No, I do a- ask people, like, how Stick long around. do you think this is going to happen? Yeah. You know, two, three weeks? Oh, no. I've been doing this for a long they time. They say that, don't they? Some people do think that wow. it's going to take that, you know, oh, little boy, amount of time. I mean, maybe if you're 18 and you already have abs and you want to drop well, the, a couple Well, that's just it. You know, you haven't worked out in eight years. Yeah. It's going to take more than eight days. Yeah, I would I, anywhere from three to six months. We don't check in on measurements again for three months. Okay. Because your body weight can change every single day based on the amount of sodium that you take. Oh, absolutely. You know, the, the weather, oh, yeah. your stress, mm-hmm. bloating, all different things. So if you wait every single day, I think that can be very discouraging to people. It is. It is. But if you wait and do it every three months, then you're like, oh, I dropped five pounds and yeah. you didn't see the fluctuation from the three right. months, but you just, the overall goal, you're like, yes. But now if they're gaining, if they're gaining lean mass, they're gaining muscle. Yeah. That number can go up. Yes. So I have to teach people about that too. I'm like, it's just a number. It's just a number. Yeah. It's And if you don't have a scale that shows you, you know, your fat mass and, and body, you know, mm-hmm. muscle mass, then it's very discouraging. Why did it only lose three pounds? But look, you gained 2% yeah. muscle mass. That's amazing. You lost 10 pounds of fat. You gained eight pounds of muscle. Yeah, it's great. It's good weight. Exactly. And you're getting stronger. And they're like, yeah, I do feel stronger. So then it helps to relate. And I'm like, that's just a number. How do you feel in your clothes? How do the clothes fit? How do the clothes fit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. That's so important. It is. That, that is so important. You got people that come in. They work out for, for six months or so. You ever come across people plateauing? Yes, plateauing They, they can hit be, that wall. Mm-hmm, they do. A lot of people hit the wall. And it's like, okay, That's well, normal. It's called being a human. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah I mean, because you get in a routine, and then you're like, oh, this is very routine. Now my body's used to this. Right. Maybe it's time to incorporate something new or maybe yeah. just tweak the diet a little bit. I am not a fan of dieting. I believe in an overall healthy way of eating. Right. But maybe you have slacked off on your protein, right? right. Let's check that out. Right. Are you getting your vegetables? Are you actually moving your body at least 30 minutes a day five or six days a week mm-hmm. rest days are important are they're you taking super your rest important. day they're super important if you're not taking your rest day that could be a problem you'll hurt yourself your body goes in defense yeah defense I mean, mode your muscles need to recover yeah yeah so and even cheat days do you, do you let your people have cheat days yeah i ate a brownie cheat yesterday super important. or sunday whatever day that yeah super important yes vince mcmahon the owner of the present, whatever, WWE, right? Yes. Pro wrestling. Okay, I'm on, yeah. He's worked out most of his life, all of his life. But he, I remember him talking about a cheat day, having a cheat day or a cheat meal. Mm-hmm. And he flat out said, I don't eat two or three Oreos. I eat the whole bag. I eat the whole package. Oh, I'd be so sick. And that's why he does it. But that, exactly. So he doesn't want it again. Exactly. He knows it's not good for him. <laughs> oh, And that has so stuck sick. with me forever. Yeah. Eat the whole bag. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not, you probably can't because you're going to be sick. <laughs> but the idea is, you know, you don't want to do it. Yeah. It's for perfect. Sure. I, I like the 80 20 idea. 80% yeah. of the time, the week, I'm going to be great. And then 20%, right. I'm going to enjoy. I don't know, whatever it is I want to eat. Saturday, yeah, Saturday night through Sunday night would be my cheat day. Yeah. And no hold part. Yeah. But when you have a metabolism rate of a jackrabbit at the time, it's nice to be young, right? <laughs> and it is good to be you young. Could, you, back when I could eat a whole large pizza oh, and say, hey, gosh. what are we having for dinner? Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't we enjoy those days more? Too ignorant. I did. Just, <laughs> Sorry. To all the young kids <laughs> listening, enjoy the it was, moment. It was wasted on my youth. What <laughs> enjoy can I say? the moment. So... You do work with people. They're plateauing. They're not seeing the results all of a sudden. Yes. That could be much of a mental game as anything. I think that's why I work out for my mental health. Me too. That's my reason. I am a nicer person when, I, when mm-hmm. I'm when mm-hmm. i moving my body. And yeah, we all get in funks. You oh, yeah. know, it's yeah. just part of being a human. And I think the good thing about Massey Fit is that we are all in the same boat. We're all women struggling with the same struggles. And right. we're there for each other. And it's more of a community feel because... I think community has become the most important thing to my sanity <laughs> since having kids. Just, Absolutely. I, I'm a mom, yes, but that's not all I am. Right. So. I'm with you. I'm yeah. With you. All right, before we get out of here, we, we're over 20 minutes. Really? Oh, it goes quick. Yes, it, it does. Quick. Before we get out of here, what are things that when someone's going to begin working out? Okay. When a woman woman's to say, hey, you know, I, I want to feel better. 
want to look better, want to you know, mainly feel better, want to mm-hmm. get stronger, yes. fight aging. Yeah. Give me a few tips. Drink water. Really? Hydration? Yeah. Hydration is key. That's number some one. Some people say they don't like water. I don't get it. I love water. But if you don't like water, add some of those little flavoring drops to it. Here's another quick equation. Your body weight. Right. That's the number of ounces. Divide it by two. That's how many ounces really? of water you should be getting a day. Unless your doctor said otherwise, like heart conditions. Well, sure. Well, yeah. yeah. Right? All, all, Extenu- ex- yeah. yeah circumstances. Always check with your doctor before you start working out. <laughs> right. You know. Right. But, Which I've uh, never done, but yeah. yes. So, yes. but good to say. So, yes. Water and sleep. Seven to eight hours of sleep every night. Right. Yep. Okay. And then the other thing is the protein that we've touched on already. Mm-hmm. Really work on adding that into your every meal. Three meals have protein. And that's three quarter of your body weight. Yeah. For quote unquote maintaining. Yes. I got you. Yeah. And now, then. Now, before you go to the last one. Uh-huh. I love talking about protein. Protein, honestly, learning protein changed my life. No joke. When should someone take protein? Uh, and, I feel and befo- like before you answer that, it will go deeper. Yeah. You could get a protein shake with 80, 100 grams of protein. Mm-hmm. Drinking that in two minutes is not going to help you. No. Because well, your body can only, what? Digest so much right okay. at the time. Yeah. But, like, I really think after your workout, within the first that's, hour. That's the- yeah, Prime because your time. muscles need to be able to repair, and protein has the amino acids in it that helps your muscles Your body's repair. craving. Yeah. So before, okay. you could carb load a little bit to provide your body a little Some fuel. Some energy. Or you can work out fasted. I work out fasted. Like, Do you really? Yeah. I do prefer that. I would that. die if I tried that. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I drink water, but I don't right. I don't have food. I, I've been in workouts. ketosis twice in my life. It's two of the most miserable times I've ever experienced. Yeah, I don't like the I don't like certain diets. That's, that's I don't love whole, diets. Well, yeah. No, I, I wasn't dieting. I, I didn't have enough carbohydrates in my body. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some people that cut out carbohydrates. I mean, a lot of people Ketosis think that's... Ketosis is miserable. In, yeah. I Folks, mean, if you don't know what that is, go Google it. Your body needs carbohydrates. Healthy your, ones. Your body's burning Complex. protein for energy. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah. Sorry. And so, yes, protein after the workouts. Right that's after. Whey protein? Yeah. I mean, once again, there's so many different types out there. Right. I don't know. That's. I feel like a lot of that's personal. I agree. I agree. But my last tip is exercise. Yes, last Come to Massey Fit. <laughs> Come to Massey Fit. <laughs> Either join one of my group sessions where you're surrounded by other we- women doing the same workouts, or we could do a one-on-one. That way you don't feel like, I mean... Lots of people, when they're starting to work out, I don't know what to do. They feel nervous. Right, right. They feel like they look silly. There's no judgment in my place. Right. So come, let me help you get your confidence, and then join the group of women because it's so much fun. You do do individual. I do. And yes. I, I love working with individuals. Nice. Um, but the groups are a lot of fun, and the women oh, I, end up yeah. really loving the group time. So Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right. You got a website. Yes. MasseyFit.com. That's easy. Yes. And, and you're on Facebook, Instagram? I am. Both Massey Fit. Good thing your last name's Massey. Yeah, saying. it works really well. <laughs> Morgan, did we miss anything in all seriousness? I you and I could so. sit and talk for three or four hours yes. on this. This is stuff I love. This was so fun. You enjoyed it? Yes. Really? I was so nervous, but I, I think it went well. We're just hanging out. We're just yes. hanging out. Folks, we're going we're gonna to go uh, do some, uh, some... Some push-ups. Some Roman chair or something some like that. <laughs> So I'm not doing the burpees. You're on your own. I'm going to watch Morgan do burpees. Plank challenge. And then, yeah, then we're going to load up some uh, protein shakes with some good uh, branch chains and stuff like that. You with me? I'm with you. Morgan, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. They're playing my music. It means I got to wrap up. Folks, another great episode. Hey, a lot of fun. Morgan is awesome to hang out with. MasseyFit.com. Uh, ladies, you want to feel a little bit better, get a little stronger? That's never a bad thing, no matter what age you are. I'm Tom Sheldon. We'll talk to you soon.